All right, so, so far, these are my components. We're talking about the digital coloring sandwich in my layers, right? It all starts with white bread on the bottom, wonder bread on the bottom, a protected white layer. Then we have our flat color, right? And you have to choose the right colors, which can be tricky. And then we have our black bread at the top, which is the line art that contains our colors. So now I'm playing with more complicated filling besides just a cheese sandwich. I'm playing with duotone color, right? To do that, I made a duplicate of my flat color. I used image adjustments, levels to make it darker. And then I cut away with my lasso where I wanted there to be highlights. And I'll just do that a little bit more. I'll just cut a highlight here at this edge. And maybe right here. So do a tone color that's hard edge like this or cut edge is a little nerve wracking because you're using your lasso without any feather and you're just making a really distinct change from the lights to the darks. And then the last thing I did was I just selected those dark shadows and I just moved them down a little bit to get this little offset. But that moves my colors outside of my lines a little bit. So then I go back to my line art and I select the empty space around my line art. And then I can delete anything that falls outside. So you see that little red there? That's how I can get rid of it from my duotone color. Because you want everything to be behind your lines. Now I like that for the most part. There's a few of those shapes I'm not so fond of. So for instance, I'm going to fill those in. And I'm just going to use, here I'll do this one first. I'm just going to use my hard edge brush to do it. Right? So just like the paint bucket, you can use your hard edge brush and hold down option to steal a color. Oh, make sure you're at full opacity. That's where I'm going wrong. And whether you're using your tablet or not, you select the areas you want to fill and you just fill them. So remember, this is a raster program. All it is is pixels and you're working behind your line art. So if you notice that it gets away from you, you can always go back to your vector line art and then you can always clean it up from there. So with my duotone now, now I'm starting to hand sh shade within my lines just with my paintbrush. And I can hold down option to match colors. So offsets can give you cool effects, but you have to look at all of the, the aspects that they cause. Right. So I moved all my shadows just down and to the right a little bit. So that interfered with some of the colors I wanted. All right, I might also just pick a shadow color and then just paint that in somewhere. So duotone is splitting your local color into two tones. So I might extend that to the handle here and onto the trigger here, just with a hard edge brush. And this is also duotone hard edge. So this is all on my duotone hard edge sandwich layer. Okay, that helps communicate. 
And I think that works pretty well. Okay, next. Well, maybe I'll do a little bit of the, the skin shading on the finger here. Right, duotone hard edge. So hopefully that all makes sense. I'm not going to get too fussy with it because this is a pretty simple graphic image. And as you build a sandwich and you start adding more layers and ingredients, you can keep changing it up. So now I'm going to save that. Now I'm going to duplicate my duotone hard edge and I'm going to turn it into duotone soft edge color. And this is the only time we'll use a filter in the class as part of an assignment. But I want you to understand how this works. So now I'm going to turn off the, my original duotone color hard edge. And now on this soft edge layer, I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. All this does is take focus away. And then I'm going to push the radius until I have a soft edge on my duotone. And you see it turns it into a gradation blend. Like that. Now, because I gradated it, it's also going to extend beyond its borders a little bit. So I go back to my line art and I select the empty space outside. Actually, I can go to my flat color layer and do that. Select the empty space outside. Interesting. It's not what I wanted. Okay, let's go to the line art, empty space outside, and then go to my flat color and exclude the parts that didn't overlap, right? And then I have my undercut here, and now I'm going to delete that all from the soft edge. So it's clean on the outside, but soft and gradated on the inside. Now another way I can do this let me turn the gray background on, is I can use dodge and burn on my pixels. So if you remember dodge and burn from all our compositing, dodge will brighten in the midtones, exposure of less than 30, big soft edge brush. Dodge and burn are incredibly good for soft edge duotone. They don't work so well for hard edge duotone. So to brighten it up, wherever the shadows are, I can dodge them. And then to darken it, I'm going to make a duplicate of my flat color layer, move that up with my duotone, and this will be soft edged color. And then I can brighten those flats as well with a soft edge with this brush. And I don't need to worry about it going outside of the edges because it's only going to affect the pixels that are within my shapes. Now, I'm dodging right now. I'm brightening. I can do the same thing with the burn tool to darken. And I'm still all, only using the same colors within. With the dodge and burn tool. But I'm getting a lot more variation on them. Than just the two typical colors you get from duotone hard edge. Duotone does not mean two colors. It means lights and darks. And then I can always just use my low opacity eraser, big and soft edged as well, to blend between these lights and darks. Here, let's soften that even more. So now I have options in my sandwich of duotone hard edge, duotone soft edged.
And let me brighten it up a little bit. So I tend to be heavy handed with my dodge tool. Okay, so I can put those together. I can merge them. This is my duotone soft edged on top of my flat color. So what you don't usually have is both, right? So that's hard edged. This is soft edged. But I can blend them together. And you often see this in comic books, for instance, to give a little bit more dimension. So in some places it looks harder edged. In some places it's softer. Okay, now, let's see, I'll mark that as, let's see, eggplant, a violet color. I'm going to save that. And how does it look on all the backgrounds? It still reads well on black, reads well on gray, reads well on white. I feel like it can use a little bit more of a strong highlight. So now we're going to play with full spectrum color. Remember, you can see examples of these. We talked about duotone hard edge. This is what duotone soft edge looks like. Right, that kind of subtle gradation. And now we're going to talk about full spectrum. And full spectrum is kind of an anything goes digital coloring style. There are lots of ways you can do it. You can just kind of paint colors behind your line art if you want. What I like to do is I like to isolate all my colors and combine them kind of like make a, um, a thousand island dressing kind of combo of all these different things. So I'm going to merge all those visible into one layer by holding down option and then saying layer merge visible. Right. And now I'm going to call this duotone, not duotone, sorry, full spectrum. And how do I turn it to full spectrum? I'm going to do it with layer style. So this will be the last thing before I turn it in. I double click and I'm going to fill it with a gradient overlay. And the gradient overlay I'm going to use is going to be really strong like this. These kind of purples and blues. If I did it at normal, it would look like that, right? But I'm going to do it in a blending mode of pin light. Ooh, I like that. So you see how that adds full spectrum effects to my colors. It starts mixing different colors into it. And then I can play with the opacity of that. So Taylor, that's something you could play with. Maybe a full spectrum example. Okay, and I'm going to choose my favorite, whether it's duotone soft edge, duotone hard edge, just flat color, save that as a PNG and turn it in. And I can always hold down Option and merge all my visible color layers. And then I can just dodge and burn directly on that if I want to brighten certain areas. And I can play with levels as well. So to turn it in, we save it as a PSD, and then you turn it in as a PNG. All right, so those are going to be my colors, and I'm going to save it, Command S, and then I'm going to say File, save a copy as a PNG with the background turned off, and submit it in Canvas. And next, in the next assignment, we will add text to this to make posters, and I call it my color spot illustration. Save it as a Photoshop file and as a PNG with the background turned off. All right, have a safe Halloween.